my name is Eduardo and I am here with another tutorial. This tutorial I will try to make it very simple um, and it is especially when you want to design an app. Sometimes we design apps in App Inventor but just using here the designer okay but something that you can um, do okay, is to change uh, to use something different. In this case I will use Inkscape to design my app. You can use also uh, GIMP or Photoshop, okay, so it is quite the same, okay, but I prefer to use Inkscape, okay, so um, I hope you like this tutorial, okay, so let's start with this. Uh, first, the first thing I uh, use is this, is I try to set a, 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 a size, okay, well, I will use this kind of measure that is points, okay, and I will create here if my app will be like here in portrait or landscape well I will use it in portrait okay so I will set it make sure that it's in points and then I will say that this it is like 720 okay and it is 1280 points and that's it this will be my screen okay so first I need to create here I want to create here my interface okay or the screen of my app okay so imagine this is all the screen of your app okay so here you can start creating importing uh, images okay so let's I will do it uh, I will try to make it a little simpler okay so very simple so let's see that I want to have a button here and this button will be like maybe something more original like a star or triangle yeah I like that so what about if I have this kind of button here 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 so let's have it uh, place it in a place that it's not common so here I like it here and I will have another one here so let's say that it's here my second button so this is and I will change the color of my uh, layout well, yes, I increase the opacity so let's see that this is a very nice design with some cool colors what about if we use something from here okay let's say that this is the kind of color we increase the color and then we have this and this is another button yeah but this is not like a change the opacity and here and that's it and maybe I can write some text okay hello and welcome and maybe I can change this to a different kind of font I don't know so let's try just to be a little bit uh,
so this is going to be a button and this is going to be another button okay so I need to make sure and I'm going to export everything as a background image okay so let's go here and let's go to export then we go here okay so here you will export this thing okay uh, let's say that I want to export it uh, here my images uh, let's go to Papa Android okay, so here I was making another tutorial but uh, it was very long and maybe this is like a bit too long but well so let's say that this is my background and you just sell I just selected the the, re the rectangle the rectangle okay and it will export everything that it's in uh, over okay or on the rectangle so let's see what we have so I exported I will, uh, here preview let's make it here and this is my air okay so this is the way I want it to look this is my button touch me that's it so you just go here okay and then we go to <clears throat> We go to Happy Mentor if you want just to import this thing. Okay, here you have the screen. Uh, well, here the vertical to the top, okay, to the left or to the center. Is it? It's okay, it is the same. So now <clears throat> I'm going to use here this background image. So I select it, and this is the background for my screen. God, I know it's uploading, so and that is over there. If you want to remove the background color, okay, we can move some things here, and maybe I want it to have just portrait. No, if this is very important, please. So it has to be no scrollable, okay. So, and I guess with this, this is okay. Show the status, maybe not. I don't want this thing to show, okay. But we have this part now. Let's we have to start working here this is a really confusing part sometimes but I want you to think about this we are going to use some guidelines okay so for example let's select the button this is the button and this is think about this like a button so a square so first we can use this uh, line guides guidelines line guides well we can use this and we are going to Maximize here with uh, Inkscape. It is just using the plus key, and that's it. We just put it in the right place, and we drag another one, and here, and we do the same here for this part. So try to be uh, very accurate as you can. Yes. So now, this is for the bottom. We have the bottom. Now. Do the same for the borders of your screen. If you want, you can maximize to be a little bit more accurate. It's, it's okay. We drag another one for this part. So, and then we do the same for the other side, opposite side. That's it. The bottom, yeah, why not? So that's it, very good. Now, oh, let's do the same for the bottom for this you know, uh, bottom. Oh, there is not a bottom, but it's a triangle. Now we are planning to move like a bottom. So remember. That's it. So we have here this area for both of my buttons. Now, what's next?